Hello friends, I'm Sunan Subramaniam here, Senior Research Analyst from Choice Security Broking Private Limited and today the commodity that I would like to touch upon is on gold and silver and looking at the trend in gold prices, the gold has shown a major decline in the past couple of weeks. This is majorly due to improved sentiments in the global markets regarding the economic activities. Moreover, vaccine optimism in the global markets has also brought pressure in the uh, yellow metal which is actually a clear indication that the investors in the global markets are shifting their investments from the riskier assets such as gold to other uh, components such as uh, base metals as well as uh, crude oil. So in the considering this factor the global gold prices and M6 gold prices has shown a decline in the past couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, to talk about Friday the prices had closed around for 46 100 levels and during this week it has shown a short decline uh, uh, so far but then overall trend continues to remain bearish as the bond deals in the global market especially in the major countries of US, Europe and Japan has shown an incline which is a clear indication that the investments in the debt and equity markets is expected to spur up. Moreover, uh, post the spring festival in the Ch Chinese, uh, Chinese economy, the industrial activities has shown a significant incline which has brought a huge upside momentum in the base metal counter. So, uh, considering the above factors into consideration, we are, I am expecting uh, the MCX gold futures to trade bearish. Prices on a longer duration, probably in a week or two, we can expect that the prices to touch down to uh, rupees uh, 45,000 levels. Uh, to recommend uh, selling levels, the best selling level is uh, around 46,300 levels, maintaining a stop loss around 46,700 and for the near term downside target of 45,500 levels. And on a long term basis, we can expect that the prices to move uh, down to 45,000 to 44,900 levels. The second commodity that I love to touch upon is on silver and silver has shown an incline. Uh, this is majorly due to increased demand in the industrial sector. Since uh, silver as a component has 67% in the industrial demand and 33% as ETFs, ETFs may not show incline because of the declining uh, gold prices and lower investment in riskier assets. But then uh, to talk about the silver prices, the silver prices is expected to incline due to higher industrial demand. Moreover, there is a huge demand for electronic vehicles, especially in India and the Chinese industry, which is a key component for the uh, silver prices to spur. In addition to that, the COVID-19 vaccines is also a key factor which will also be supportive to uh, M6 silver prices. However, however, extreme bullishness can be capped in M6 silver prices as US dollar index continue to trade on the higher range which can uh, limit extreme bullishness in uh, M6 silver prices. Overall, uh, I continue to remain bullish in M6 silver futures. Prices are expected to move up to 70,000 levels in the week ahead. Thank you and I wish you all a very happy trading week.